prepare for this noise. Let the grinding season begin with the warmer temperatures. Street construction is now underway with some 200 miles set to be completed by the summer. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Marissa Bailey. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at Pulaski Park, where all that repaving work has already started. Good morning, Mike. Indeed, 275 miles of street. That's what the city aims to repave by the end of this summer. Today, Mayor Emanuel stopped by Hollywood Park on the northwest side to officially kick off the 2018 repaving season. That's why this behemoth of a machine was spotted lumbering down Peterson Avenue. It's a grinder which literally rips up and tears apart the top two to three inches of an old street. Some of the other streets slated for a facelift this season include 79, North Avenue, Wilson and Elston, among others. And the head of CDOT says they're saving tens of millions of dollars by making sure that under the street utility work is completed before the paving work begins so that newly laid down streets don't have to be ripped up once again. That as the mayor promises that the immediate inconvenience will be worth it in the end. We are coming in and only paving after that work has been done, so the street is restored once. There's a big uh, difference when you finally have that paved road versus a pothole full uh, street. Uh, it, takes, it takes work to get it done, and we're, this type of investment, though, allows you to have more businesses come uh, your way. Now, the mayor's office released this map, which shows all of the streets that have been repaved in the past eight years. By the end of the summer, he says the city should hit a milestone when the city's repaving process passes the 2,000 mile mark. Now, the entire process, as we're taking another live look here, it takes two to three weeks. Cars that are parked in the work area will be relocated, but no tickets will be issued according to the mayor's office. You can see right now they definitely do a pretty quick job of it here because this street was looking good this morning and now you can see the whole top has been removed. Reporting live on Peterson at St. Louis, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Thanks for the heads up, Mike.